about this study from John Hopkins, which you wanted to talk about. Mm. It says that we are ranked number one in the world for preparedness, yeah. but there's, there's more to this story. So you heard the president mention this. We mentioned this on Good Morning America on Monday um, of this week. People can go online and read this. It's called the GHS Index. In October of last year, Johns Hopkins School of Public Health, they ran their fourth global pandemic preparedness drill. They picked for their mock drill a coronavirus. Wow. Wow. They had to pick a high-impact respiratory pathogen. Right. That's what they picked. Theirs happened to start in South America. Again, it was a mock drill. Anyway, they evaluated data from 195 countries, six categories. They asked over 100 different questions, like how many people in your country are mobile phone subscribers? How many people have access to the Internet? How many doctors do you have per 100,000 people? Right. All publicly available data. It's good reading, you guys. This is, now, I'm gonna hit you with some numbers. Do you want the good news first or the bad news first? Here's the bad news bad first, news. and then we okay. can be happy. I like the way you think. Bad news, they found that there is no country in the world that is fully prepared to deal with an epidemic or a pandemic. Overall, the preparedness is weak mm. across the globe. There are some numbers that jumped out at me that I think are concerning to say the least. 77% of countries cannot report lab data in real time. So wow. that's why when I tell you when you hear this case count, okay, I understand it's something, it's better than nothing, but there are countries that it might be a week till they're able to report their data, right. okay? And real time definition varies. Is it a day, is it several days, is it a week? Only 22% of countries they assessed can even transport specimens nationwide. That's a problem. Only 7% of those 195 countries that they analyzed are prepared for a pandemic. The good news is we are ranked number one overall, and we ranked number one in four out of six categories. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so women that's right. There. <laughs> People were like, <laughs> um, but that is why it is relevant to us what's happening in other parts of the world. The Middle East ranks in the lowest prepared tier parts of Europe in the middle tier and where in the in the top what tier. What about China? Asia? It, it's, it varies depending. I mean, I'm telling you, you're going to look through this and you're going to look at everyone's ranking. It's, it's really interesting. Iceland ranks 58th out of 195. Um, Jen, can you put out the cliff notes on that? I mean, yeah. listen, I just, if this disappears, I know who to come for to look That's for right. it. But I think when we look at other parts of the world and we mm -hmm. say, well, that won't happen here or that will happen mm. here or we don't care because that's mm. not the U.S., you do have to pay yeah. attention to it, but you also have to put it in perspective that things are but besides different. besides washing yeah. your hands and using Purell, which don't touch everybody's your face. out of it, by That's the way. right. Don't touch your face. Yeah. Listen, because it's flu season and all kinds of other things. I'm not hugging and kissing people. Yeah. I'm not yeah. shaking hands. Just do the elbow bump, yeah. but that's not because of the coronavirus. That's just what we should be doing in general. Yeah. And stay home if you're sick. If and you the there, there, are, there are a lot of people canceling trips. Is that, oh, that's, I mean, how do you, how do you make a look, decision No like one that? knows, we, we don't like in medicine and science to say when we don't know something, but the wise thing is to recognize and say when you don't know. And we don't know what this will look like in two weeks or two months. It depends where in the world you're talking about, what you're gonna be doing. I have a lot of travel planned for work in the next couple of months, even international, and I have not canceled anything yeah. yet. So you can come with me. That's right. So, yeah, okay. Uh, it's very disconcerting. It's, it's, it's like, it's, it's, we're going to yeah. be fine. It's okay. But there might be a global pandemic. But here's the, here's the thing it's that concerns scary. me about Wait. all of this. And, and we'll, do, we'll get to uh, Black History Month. But this is the thing that bothers me. This is always a history of when, not mm -hmm. if. Mm -hmm. Why are we never in the world prepared? L listen, mm -hmm. Whoopi, that's in this, in this report. And right. in medicine and science, just like in other areas in life, unless you practice preparedness yes. or practice a drill, you cannot execute it. And no country right. is practicing these, these drills. And that is a problem. So I understand the concern for that yeah. because that's concerning to me too. I just think okay, all the right. doomsday preppers get a little tap on the yeah. back today for yeah. being so prepared in every way. And I know quite a few of them. So